Hey everyone, I get a lot of questions about my van, how it works, how I go about it. So I'm gonna actually take you with me today on a ride from starting here in my house. One of the first questions that people ask me is, how do you get out of your house? Well, I have a handy little gadget right underneath the armrest of my wheelchair. So I push this button and you'll see what it does. The door opens. And I have about 10 seconds to get through the door to get out to my van. Closes right behind me, as you'll see. I have actually all of my remotes Velcroed right onto my wheelchair, so I don't have to worry about dropping them or forgetting them, I always have them with me. So what I do is I push this button on my remote. So when that ramp came out, my whole van lowers so that it makes this less steep for me to have to go up in my wheelchair. So it's pretty cool. All right, well here I am entering my van. And as you see, there's no seat in the driver's spot. This is where I go and where my wheelchair is gonna lock in. So I will scoot up here. And most of the time how I start my van, I can do it with the key, but most of the time I just use my automatic start because I'll already have it running so it can be nice and warmed up before I even get out here. I'm gonna drive my wheelchair up. My seatbelt is already buckled, so all I have to do is drive in. And as I do that, you're gonna hear my wheelchair click. If you listen, now my wheelchair is completely locked in and one of those alarms stopped beeping. Now, the next part it's going to be getting my key in the ignition. So now that I have the key in the ignition, I will unstrap my seatbelt from the steering wheel so that it's on me. If you hear that beeping, that's really the safety um, switch to make sure that I test out my gas and brake before I even get started. There's a computer box right here and this runs all of my gas and brake, um, all of the other functions of while I'm driving gas and brake system right here. I'm gonna push forward for brake, I'm gonna pull back for gas, and then that beeping stops. So now I'm ready to go. So now I'm gonna slide my hand down into this, it's actually called a tri-pin system, which means there's three pins that are sticking up so that once my hand is in it, it won't slide out. And so again, I push forward for brake, and I pull back for gas. Are you ready? <laughs> so to shift it out of park, I pull this lever down. I have my brake on over here. And now I will steer, draw my steering with my right hand. And so I back up. And if you can see, that I actually have a camera when I have it in reverse so that I can see what's behind me. But lots of practice has gotten me to become really familiar and comfortable driving with my arms. So now we're leaving my driveway. I'm gonna pull out here and pull on the gas. And the cool thing about my van is that obviously while I'm driving I can't take my hand off of the steering wheel or off of the gas and brake system. So what I do is I have what's called the Digitone system. I control all of my blinkers, my windshield wipers, my bright lights, even um, like the liquid for the windshield wiper fluid. I can do all that with my left hand here. So what I'm gonna do, if you're, it's kind of quick, so if you notice, Notice how my left hand, I'll just move it to the left, and one beep is my left blinker. Two beeps is my right blinker. Three beeps are my windshield wipers. And then to turn my windshield wipers off, I have to do it three, two times, because it has two speeds. And then number four is my cruise control. But I'm not really going all that fast, so I can't set that. And number five are my bright lights, and number six is my horn. Wanna hear that? Okay. Pretty loud. 
I don't use it that often because I have to hold my wrist over for so long by the time I actually get my horn going. It's too late. Well, here I am, here we're driving out in my country roads, but I go all, I'll go all over with this van in downtown Minneapolis, rush hour traffic, driven through Chicago a couple times, and gotten really comfortable, and I actually prefer driving. I like to joke that I'm a woman, and I like to be in control. So there's lots of different systems that people with disabilities use to drive. Mine is definitely probably the most complex because it's actually an electronic version of gas and brakes, so it's very expensive. Just this, just this gray box over here and the gray box down there is $40,000. So it's crazy expensive for me to be able to drive, but to me it's worth it. It's my independence, it's my freedom and you really cannot put a price on that. I'm very thankful for technology. But when I'm driving, if someone calls me on my phone, I can hit the top blue button with my elbow like this, and that will actually answer my phone. So I can talk on the phone. I have a hands-free phone right here in the vehicle. It also has some voice activated functions which is the very bottom blue button over here. So while I'm driving, I can hit the blue button and say, turn audio on. And that will actually turn the radio or CD player on, which either one I command into the voice dictation system. It's pretty crazy. I actually have 16 gig where where I can actually download all my music into it. And so it allows me to have, I'll probably have about 1,500 songs loaded into here. But it's pretty cool. I can pretty much dictate anything. Because if I were to take my hands off of the steering wheel right now or off of the gas and brake system, I probably would crash. So I don't ever, ever do it. Well, we are back home safe. So I do a pretty good job. Now I want to show you how I get out of my van. So what I will do now is I will actually take my seatbelt and hook it up on the steering column so that it will be up in the air for me for the next time for when I get in to the van. Now I turn the van off, push the key in, and pull it out. If you remember how I had to lock into my van, now I have to be released from that lock system. It's called an easy lock system. So on the screen, I push this button and I push the, and then I have to hit this button and you'll hear it when I hit the button. And then I can release and get out of that spot. Now the other thing is that this computer system needs to be shut down. So what I will do after I've been released, is I just scoot up and, and then I hit this bubble And I hit it again, and it turns the whole system off. And then again, I hit that same button that I hit on the way out to open the ramp. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed going on a ride with me today and learned more about how I drive and how I get around. Thanks.